Hey guys, thank you for visiting my channel today and today we're gonna have a tutorial for the Cupid trick technique and conditioning. So I know the Cupid trick is a nemesis move for a lot of beginners and that's why in my opinion it's not a beginner move it's more of a pre-intermediate move because for beginners it's actually quite difficult to execute. So here we go. So we're gonna start with the upper leg engagement. So once you take the upper leg and grip the pole, it's very important that you actually extend the leg first, then put it to the pole, and only then you bend the leg. It's a common mistake, which seems kind of logical, but actually try to put the pole as deep as possible in your joint, okay? Once the leg is hooked, you want that your pointing toe preferably pointing, but that, that is where you can actually engage your calf. And we need our calf muscle to be engaged in the grip, okay? So the pointing leg is kind of going down a little bit, so you put your knee into an angle. So this is how you can engage your leg grip a lot better, rather than this, which you actually move it into an angle, okay? That's the first thing, grip engagement, and the height of the leg. Now you don't want to put your leg lower than your hip because that is kind of a difficult way to engage your angle here. So you want to put the leg a little bit higher than your hip. Tiny bit higher, okay? And then make this angle. And you want your foot to actually try to reach your butt. And this is how you're engaging the squeeze. So the upper leg on the pole is actually the pulling leg. It is pulling you closer. So once you actually feel the engagement of the foot and you feel the grip is nice, you can step closer with the lower leg, okay? And then you try to move your hips forward. And now we come to the next part of the, the technique is actually being able to move your hips forward in this line, okay? Therefore, you need an actual strength in the lower leg and in the hold. So here, I actually feel that my adductor muscles are helping me to hold this inside part of my leg, as well as the glutes of the outside leg, okay? The lower leg is actually very engaged in your quads because it has to be straight and it has to do the pushing. So the leg has to actually feel the push at the same time with the pull. And this is how you're gonna be able to push your hips forward. Otherwise, it will be very difficult for you on the pole. So try this on the floor first and then see how it goes. You pull, foot to your butt, engage your core always, your side, your obliques are here as well engaged if you move away from the pole. If it's too difficult, hold the pole and push your hips forward and try to feel the push and pull, the push and pull with your legs, okay? Now about the lower leg, you want to actually feel that the lower leg is not trying to push you up, that it's trying to push you away. This is how you're going to be able to easier get those hips in line here. If you're gonna think about pushing up, it will be very difficult to feel the engagement in the cupid once you're up on the pole. So here goes a nice exercise. Step close to the pole as you can. Make sure your knee is engaged, like I told you before, okay? You can hold the pole at first. Now we're going into squat position, like with one leg, okay? And now you're gonna extend and push forward. Bend, extend and push forward. And once you feel more advanced, you can let go of the hand, like I'm doing now, and move away from the pole. And you will feel how much your legs actually have to work to make this position stay, okay? You want a fixed position. So if you don't feel good in this, you can always grab the pole, or there's another variation, you can grab your foot. You can go here and push forward. Down and push forward. Down and push forward. Or with the hand on the pole, push forward. Down, push forward. Or without hands, down, exhale, push forward, down, exhale, push forward. And you actually will feel your obliques, your glutes, your inner thigh working, and the lower leg is working hard to maintain the extensions and to actually feel 
safe on your balanced leg. And if it's too difficult, you can always step a little bit away from the pole and do this exercise in a safe way once your leg is a little bit further away from the pole. And the key tips for this one is actually try to do all of these movements at the same time and to get yourself more prepared for the cupid on the pole you can try to put your lower leg in this kind of position okay this is going to actually feel a lot more intense once your foot is on your outside yes everything happens in the same time and remember the key is not to push yourself up but to push yourself away so you have to move your upper body away from the pole to feel the push okay because if you're gonna stay too close to the pole you will not be able to push your hips forward that's the first okay and the next one you will not be able to actually engage the push pull position you have to move away from the pole so if you're holding the pole that arm actually extends okay now I'll provide you five exercises how you can condition your cupid if you feel the struggle to actually execute your cupid especially without hands on the pole then these exercises can actually help you so let's get started for these exercises you're going to need a ball a small resistance band if you have a really big one the thick resistance band and blocks okay so we're going to start with the first exercise where you're going to need the resistance band simple squats can actually help you progress in your cupid now i'm going to put the band right underneath my knees and i'm going to take a goblet squat position you can go a little bit wider just make sure where your knees are looking there your toes are pointing okay so the band will help you actually engage your glutes when you're doing your squat and maintain this nice position where you actually squeeze the knees out when you go into your squat you want to push your knees out and exhale and come up okay so you can do three sets of your simple squats try to engage your squat position so when you're coming up from your squat I'm actually feeling the squeeze in my glutes I want to engage my glutes more maintain that engagement and push your knees out your chest and your hips are moving at the same time okay it's not this so it's not chest hips chest and hips at the same time push your knees out do three sets of this exercise at least 15 to 20 repetitions and you will feel a nice good burn in your legs and in your glutes make sure when you come up you exhale inhale when you go down exhale when you come up okay next how you can actually do your squats if you want to feel a proper engagement in your glutes you can take the thick resistance band and put it onto your hips right here so once you walk away you will feel the band is pulling you back that's good take the same squat position you can take it a little bit wider or a little bit more closer together the legs and once you go up make sure you are actually doing a proper technique here and once you come up you squeeze and hold for one two three going down squeeze and hold one two three and if you want more you can walk away a little bit more and going up squeeze one two three and here i'm actually trying to engage my quads feel this position a little bit going forward going down and one two three going down and one two three the same thing applies exhale when you come up make sure you go in nice deep position so you can actually feel all of your legs engaged in this one when you come up make sure your back is straight and again hips and the chest are moving at the same time 15 to 20 repetitions three sets is quite enough for this exercise as well so the next exercise the second exercise is going to be for your hamstrings okay so you're gonna need something slidey here you can take a blanket 
I'm gonna show you two variations, the easier variation and the harder variation. So I'm gonna lie on my back, nice comfortable position. Make sure your legs are in a hip wide position, okay? I'm gonna lift up here and I'm gonna slide the legs and then come back to my starting position. Slide, extend, come back to my starting position. So make sure your arms are helping you to maintain this position where your butt does not touch the floor, okay? And you wanna to go to full extension here. Extend your legs to the fullest. Make sure you're not touching the floor with your butt. And boom. Exhale and you're pulling your legs closer because that's the hardest part of this exercise. It will burn your hamstrings like hell. So if you can do 10 repetitions of these, also three to four sets is quite enough. So if this is like, okay, okay, I can do better, I can do more, you can try to do the same exercise with one leg. So the other leg will be lifted up in 90 degree position. You can point your toe or you can flex, whatever feels better for you. The same thing happens here. I lift up, I extend to my ex full extension, Come back, boom, come back, boom, come back, okay? 10 repetitions each leg, full extension, come back. Remember to breathe, full extension, come back. So the next exercise, you're going to need blocks and the resistance band on your ankles. The band will actually help you feel the engagement. Now we're gonna focus on the lower leg conditioning, which is the pushing leg. So now we're gonna work with the leg extension. So put the blocks right underneath your thigh here, okay? Put the band, take a band where you can actually feel the resistance. And if you want this to go harder, you can always take your blocks higher, okay? But start low at first, okay? So my legs are in hip-wide position, my back is straight. You can put your hands down to maintain a straight back position or you can sit next to a wall. That would be actually better to sit next to a wall so you have nowhere to cheat, okay? Now you can point your toes, but I suggest you to flex because the lower leg is more or less in a flex position once it's on the pole. So we wanna feel that engagement with the flex leg. Once you extend the leg, I feel the resistance from the lower, from here, from the band, and feel my quads burning here. Now, once you're up, try to hold this position for three seconds, then slowly lower down. Extend, three, two, one, slowly lower down, three, two, one, slowly lower down, and do this with, I would suggest 10 repetitions each, like also three sets would be really nice to actually condition your legs. If you're doing one set of these exercises, you can do it more regularly in your warm-ups if you're gonna know. This can actually help you in lots. So it can help you to lift your legs a little bit higher to just condition the quad muscle better, okay? So the next exercise is going to be for your obliques and for your adductors, for the inside thighs of your leg. So we already worked on our glutes in our squat position, which can help you in your cupid. We already did the leg extension, the hamstrings now, here is actually the most, most difficult part. So put your elbow right underneath your shoulder. Make sure your lats are engaged, you're not falling into your shoulder, okay? Push here. Now put the upper leg on something, on two blocks, three blocks. I take a little bit higher, so it kind of gives this nice line position. So my hip and my uh, shoulder is in the same line. So if it's too low, it might be actually more difficult for you to lift up. So from here, I'm gonna boom, lift up, my lower knee is still onto the floor, and I'm starting to push that upper leg into the block, so I feel the engagement in my abs right now. Boom, push, I feel my obliques, okay. Now once you feel engaged, you can try to lift up the lower leg. First, I would suggest you to hold at least five to 10 seconds each side after you did each side five to ten seconds you can actually try to go down and up if it's too difficult don't lift up the lower knee just keep pushing the leg into the blocks you will feel the engagement in your thigh and push your butt up make sure you're engaging a nice line position so your butt is not going 
back okay you're not arching here you're trying to squeeze and control so if the holding felt okay you can try to do this by lifting up if it needed you can help with the other hand onto the floor like this and just go up exhale down exhale and if you can without the arm exhale exhale do as many repetitions as you can at least three sets would be actually really nice so but if it's too difficult one set is okay just make sure you do an actual hold position as well and the last exercise the fifth exercise is with the ball okay so here before we take the ball we want to actually stretch the outside part of our foot because on the pole it's in a position like this and for many people it might not be very comfortable so stand in hip wide position curl in your foot like this and put the outside here and try to make sure your hips are looking forward if it's too difficult you just don't put the foot right in the line of your heel you can put it a little bit here just make sure you're not doing this okay hips forward and stretch the outside part of the foot here and breathe 10 15 seconds light stretch each foot okay and afterwards just circle around make sure it feels nice do not overstretch. it has to feel like you stretch but the foot is still able to work okay and after this one we're gonna take a ball and put the ball right on where the mid part of your foot is okay that's the where the pole is gonna go this part because we got we need to get used to pole squeezing in our foot usually it hurts a lot so you're gonna put the ball here and curl your foot around the ball slow so your foot is kind of looking like this curl extend your leg engage and push into the ball and you can just slightly move the ball underneath and feel the nice massage it might hurt for some a lot so if it hurts too much you just don't don't push the foot onto the ball so much but the more you push the more your foot is going to get used to actually feeling uh, in pressure here because on the pole you will do the same thing with your fingers as well you will curl your fingers to maintain engagement the push okay you don't want to put your fingers your toes like this once you're on the pole but you can switch it up you can open and close open and close just for a little bit of awareness of the foot okay and of course do the second foot as well I suggest you to do this as much as you want as much as you feel comfortable squeeze push onto the pole curl around and just massage it a little bit to get used to that feeling that something is pushing into your foot which for some might not be very comfortable so and that's it i really think that these exercises can help you a lot to condition your cupid uh, since i uh, i've been teaching beginners for years and i never teach Cupid for a beginner's class because it is a difficult trick so don't pressure yourself if you're a beginner and you cannot do it that's quite normal there's a lot of engagement needed in the Cupid position as we said as I said before so and remember the variations in Cupid you can put your hand onto the pole you can reach your foot and pull the, uh, the foot closer to your butt or you can release the hands and conditioning on the floor can actually help you to achieve your cupid up on the pole so thank you guys for visiting my channel today i really hope you enjoyed this video and that it's going to help you to achieve your cupid trick so see you guys next time like and subscribe